session. But first, you want to talk about creating your first session within Pro Tools 9. So I'm launching Pro Tools. You can see here it's loading. First, those are plugins, looking for them, loading them, DAE, setting it up, MIDI, peripherals. Okay, here we go. And now we have our quick start dialog box. Now remember, back in preferences, we set it up to make sure that when Pro Tools launched, the quick start launched. We can see up several options. We have create session from template. And here we have more options. We can do an 11 rack, which is for guitar. We have guitars, see blues, ballad, rock guitars all set up so you can check them out. And we have icon, miscellaneous, music, post-production, record and mix uh, songwriter, which is kind of cool also, with a pianist, guitarist, or a uh, singer. And venue lives for live tracking or virtual live studio check. Sound check you see right there. And here we have create a blank session. We have open a previous session. It's called open recent session. I can pull a session I've opened up before. It'll know where it's at. Okay, here, load this session up. And we can have open a session. I may have imported a session from another hard drive for a client, and I want to, you know, go right to where it's at and open it up. And in this case, we want to create a blank session because I want to explain to you about these session parameters. Now, here you'll see here we have the sample rate. Now, what sample rate means, this is a kilohertz, 44.1, like a CD quality. This means that the Pro Tools session, when I'm recording into Pro Tools, it's going to be taking 44,000 samples per second of every frequency range that's there. From the low, low, to the high, 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 high. So every frequency, lows, mids, high, every frequency, not many pictures it's taking. If I go to 96K, it's taking 96,000 pictures of every frequency. So it's getting more and more pictures, even a much more detailed look at every audio frequency that's recorded. But this also means that the file is twice as large as 48K, which means it'll take up that much more hard drive space. That means you have much more space to store it on. And since you gotta run Pro Tools off a separate hard drive, you'll need to make sure you got a really big drive to store all these big, huge files on. So be aware of that. Now to coordinate along with these sample rates, we have the bit depth. And bit depth just um, really is all about the amplification of these sounds how much amplification there is for each one of these frequencies. And at 16 bits, we have this amplification rate of 66,000. But here, at 24 bits, we can have 16 million. So it gives us more of this great amplification. So we get a perfect, a much better amplification with, of course, 24, let's say, uh, 96 kilohertz. Now, CDs are normally 16 bit and 44.1. I don't know anybody doing CDs these days. Maybe there are people doing them. I don't do any much of that. I'm mostly doing MP3s or bumping them up for some other purpose. So, that's for CDs. And DVDs are 24-bit and 96 kilohertz. Okay? And here we have the audio file type. Now, this could be WAV or it could be AIFF. I prefer to keep my stuff in WAV that way no matter what. It's going to be seen by anything no matter what I use. Mostly every program and just about every MPC or MV or any kind of sampling machine if I want to make a sample send someplace else it reads a WAV file. Now below that here below sample rate we have the IO setup. We have last used so remember the last IO setup I used before. Now I will talk more about IO setup further in the interface further in our lesson plan. We have stereo mix and of course down here we have different setups for different I may have a Control 24, I may have a Control 24 LE stereo setup, I may be using this 11 rack, I may be using an icon mixing board. And these are different I.O. setups for these particular setups. And once I select the sign I'm going to use in my session, I'll press OK. And it goes right in here. So where do you want to put it? I'm going to go back here in my Pro Tools sessions, and I'll name it. And I can call whatever I want to call it in this case. I'm called like uh, test session and I'll press save 